Hello again, everyone. In our session today, we want to talk about monitoring and managing replication and upgrading SysVol replication from FRS to DFS. We're going to start by looking at our first topic, monitoring and managing replication. We are here in the Active Directory Sites and Services Console, where we're going to be using the Active Directory Sites and Services Console tool to trigger Active Directory replication. Now, you would remember from previous sessions that when you have a domain controller, that domain controller replicates its data to other domain controllers within your environment. Those other domain controllers are referred to as replication partners. Now we can trigger Active Directory replication simply by clicking on the domain controllers connection object that you can see here on the right hand side. And remember to access the domain controllers connection object, we would have to expand the site. In our example here, we have SYD site. And within the site, you will see the object, the server's object. If you expand servers, you will find your server. In our case, it's SYDDC. And under the server, you have your NTDS settings. When you click on your NTDS settings, you're going to see the connection object, which we have here on the right hand pane. And to replicate, we simply right click on the connection object and click on replicate now as shown here. Clicking replicate now causes the domain controller to replicate with each of its replications partners within your environment. It is also possible to manage Active Directory replication using the rep admin command line tool. For example, you can use the rep admin with the replication summary option to view a summary of domain controllers replication with replication partners as shown here. And this view allows you to determine when replication has failed and the largest period between replication events. As you can see here, we have source and we have destination. It shows us the largest delta, the fails, the total percentage, and the percentage errors. We can use Web Admin with the Show Replication option on the domain controller, which allows us to view information, as you can see here, about inbound replication traffic. So this information includes the objects that were replicated and the date stamps associated with that traffic. On our screen here, we can see the output of this command when run on the domain controller. It shows us the object, the ID, and the last attempt at replication and whether or not it was successful. And to have that view, we again can use a rep admin slash show replication command line. The rep admin command line includes the following additional functionalities. You have the slash Q switch, which allows you to take a look at inbound replication requests. 
you have the slash replicate switch, which allows you to force replication of a specific Active Directory partition. You also have the rep single object switch, which allows you to trigger replication for a single object. And you have the slash PRP switch, which allows you to view which users have had their user accounts replicated to a read-only domain controller. Next, we want to turn our attention to upgrading SysVol replication to distributed file system replication. First of all, let's remind ourselves what SysVol is and what SysVol does. SysVol is a special folder on each domain controller. And this folder hosts your group policies, your group policy templates, and any other items related to Active Directory. The SysVol folder is located in the system root SysVol folder on each domain controller. Now, in Windows Server 2003 and 2003R2, domain controllers used FRS, File Replication Services, to replicate the SysVol folder to other domain controllers in the environment. But from Windows Server 2008 and later, Microsoft began using the distributed file system, DFS, to perform replication of the SysVol folder. You'll find that DFS is more efficient than FRS. However, there might have been some organizations or companies that would have upgraded from Windows Server 2003 and they did not upgrade the SysVol replication from FRS to DFS because even though you upgrade your Windows Server 2003 server, the process of upgrading the SysVol replication from FRS to DFS did not happen automatically. You can upgrade SysVol replication from FRS to DFS only if the domain functional level is set to Windows Server 2008 or higher. You can use the DFS or MIG.exe utility to perform this upgrade. If your organization already uses 2008, then you know that you already have DFS doing your replication for you. If you want to check if FRS is still running, you can use the DFS R MIG.exe with the get global state option. One of the things that you need to bear in mind is that you need the forest functional level of Windows Server 2008 or later. So if you have not done this step yet, that's the first thing you would do. You would set the forest and domain functional level so that the levels are 2008 and up. You can verify if the system uses the FRS using the command that you see here, the FSRMIG, using the get global state option. And to do this, you would simply log into the domain controller as a domain admin or enterprise admin and go into PowerShell, as you see us have here, and type the command. The output that you would get will tell you that it's not initiated. And to start migration, please set the global state to the desired value. 
So that's the next thing that you want to be able to do. Before we actually move into the configurations, we need to know that there are four states, four stable states that go along with the migration phases. And you can take a look at these four states in the required reading for this particular session. Here's state zero, which is a start state. State one, which is a prepared state. State two is the redirected state. And state three is the eliminated state. With the start state, FRS will replicate this vol folder among the domain controllers. And it is important to have up-to-date copies of SysVol before even beginning the migration process so that you will avoid any possible conflicts. We're going to look at the prepared state. And in this state, FRS continues replicating SysVol folder. And the FSR will replicate a copy of the SysVol folder, which will be located in the system root SysVol DFRS by default. But this SysVol will not respond for any domain controller and service requests. So for the prepared state at the PowerShell prompt, you will type what you see here on screen, DFSR, MIG, with the option set global state one and press enter. And you can see the current DFSR global state start and the new DFSR global state prepared. And DFSR will copy the content of the SysVol folder to the SysVol DFSR folder as we said before. Next, you can type DFSSRMIG get migration state, which will confirm that all domain controllers have reached the prepared state. Next, we have the redirected state. And for the redirected state, at the PowerShell prompt, you're going to type DFSRMIG set global state 2 and press enter. And you can see the output here. Migration will proceed to redirected state and the SysVol share will be changed to SysVol DFSR folder, which is replicated using DFSR. To confirm that all domain controllers have reached the redirected state, you can use the command DFSRMIG with the option get migration state. And you can see it returns the output. All domain controllers have migrated successfully to the global state redirected. Migration has reached a consistent state on all domain controllers succeeded. The next state we want to look at is the eliminated state. And in this state, the FSR replication will continue its replication and servicing SysVol requests. Windows will delete the original SysVol folder users by FRS replication and stop the FRS replication. To perform this step, you want to use the command DFSR MIG with the option set global three, state three and press enter. The next thing you want to do is to confirm that all domain controllers have reached the eliminated state. And to confirm that, you want to type DFSSR MIG get migration state. 
and this completes the migration process. We can see the command here, all domain controllers have migrated successfully to the global state eliminated. To confirm, you can type the netshare command and press enter. In this session, we have looked at managing Sysvol replication and upgrading the file replication system to the distributed file system being used by 2008 domain controllers and up. I want to thank you for listening.